Good morning and welcome to Money Wisdom sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. I'm Jillian Andrews. We're teaching you smart ways to manage your money and here with us now is with expert advice is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Brunetti partner. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, of course. All right, and today we are talking about financial freedom. What is financial freedom? Why do you save money in the first place? To be able to live how you want to live and that's different for everyone. For some people it's being able to just to not have to work anymore, or being able to go on vacation or help your kids out or do this or do that. So it's, it's different for everyone. Um, but it's something we all think about probably for our whole life. Absolutely. And how should people start planning to become financially free? So people, it's a stressful thing, right? Saving for money in general. I mean, if you look at what Americans or, or people anywhere are arguing over, it's, that's a big one right and and the world is so expensive and what groceries cost this year relative to last year all of these things that are swirling around in our head all the time step number one is to look at debt right we want to be saving money but if you're saving money into a bucket and you got a giant hole in the bottom of that bucket which is credit card debt where you're paying 18 percent interest fix that first right so be looking at debts that's the first thing you want to look at outside of that make sure if let's say you have a younger family that your insurance is ordered. What about health insurance? What if there's a major medical expense? If you don't have the right insurance, that can erode all of the savings that you have. Um, and that might be life insurance, right? For a young family, you have a mortgage, you have young kids, you gotta pay for college, that costs it, you know, all that stuff. And saving, you know, 401k plans, which most employers provide, definitely the bigger ones, a lot of those match. And a lot of those employers, that match is automatic, even if you don't put money in, and still sometimes people don't save into those plans or put money into those plans or sign up for those plans just because they don't know. So make sure you're taking advantage of stuff that is available to you at your employer because there's a lot of options that might be available to you that you're not even aware of. And then as you get close to retirement, is that still the best place for your money? Absolutely. So it's about having a plan and you know that line that you know I've talked to you know my little kids about is how do you eat an elephant well, you know you start with the first bite it's it's it takes a long time and it can get discouraging at the beginning because I'm saving and I'm working so hard and it's just not getting bigger it takes time it's like a snowball rolling down a hill but if you start those good habits young and you continue them it, it'll work Right, and the sooner you start, the better off you are. The easier it's going to be, you know, when people come and they're 55, how do I start saving for retirement? You know that's hard to do. If you're 30, well, Eric, everything's so expensive and this and this and kids, and I know. But it's about starting something, even if it's small, and just consistently doing that. And if you can build, you're going to be in that much better of a situation in the future. But talk to people, get advice, get help. Great, and you have an offer for people looking to learn more. Yeah, it's the Retirement Wish List Workbook. Um, and it talks about this stuff, it's not just for people who are retired, but things that you should be thinking about if you're approaching retirement, if you hope to retire someday. Because you don't want to be looking back saying, oh, like I, I should have done that. I, maybe I should have done a Roth. When you're 65, that's not an option. When you're 40, it is. You know, so get advice, read things, educate yourself. You can get this book, it's totally free at moneywisdomtv.com. And it talks about and, and hopefully educates you on some things that could help and hopefully do help. That's great. Wonderful advice. One more time. That is moneywisdomtv.com. Thank you, Eric, as always. And we will see you next time for another edition of Money Wisdom. I'm Jillian Andrews.